<laughs> as well as the uh, PK Thunder. But um, yeah, on this stage, you can really just fight Ness really well and kill Ness pretty early too. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens here, though. Nice. Two C percent. The up air into the charge rising tackle. That extra percent that Terry needs. So I remember how PK Chris is in this. He's like super fast, and he's like always using those side, the side magma in these tricky ways. Really yeah. can throw off his opponent. I feel like that's what separates a lot of the nest mains from one another is their ability to use side magnet in combos and landings and stalls. Oh. Oh, good for Fox. You have to burn that double jump because he didn't want to get hit by either the PK Thunder or by possibly getting hit by Ness and then getting hit by that move as well. It's a lot of damage. That's a really good landing trap overall with Ness. Even if you don't get it to hit, your opponent has to go through so much just to avoid uh, getting upbeat. But it's go time. You already know what this means. You get Chris. Gotta be careful. But that power dunk, man. That really? actually was a power dunk anti air. I, yeah. I haven't seen that like used in that way. But oh my goodness, this this is the Terry snowball. Forty-two percent from one combo. Oh, oh no! Grab. Drag down grab. But there's the back air. And PK Chris can breathe a little bit easier now. <laughs> that he doesn't have to worry about dying to uh, the go meter. Yeah, that's the thing about Terry. He snowballs pretty, pretty well with Go Meter, and there's a lot of combos that he can lead into things like Buster Wolf. So you have to give him a little bit of respect, man. If you don't take care of that stock as soon as possible, there's a lot that Terry will definitely get over you. That not that good. he needs the uh, the Go Meter. So no, you definitely not. Thing, but it's a lot scarier. <laughs> yeah, Fox nice has no qualms. Fox has no qualms using that down at the ledge because he knows if he does a neutral get up, it'll lead to like a a hit. Yeah. And if they roll, you'll automatically turn around. It's like as so. Well. Yeah. It's good too. It's one of those moves that have a low cooldown, low startup. Like you said, you can do it on the ledge. It'll confirm to an option. Oh. Wow. And that was good too because if PK Chris wanted to jump out of shield, he would have called that out. If he didn't jump over shield because the shield had taken slight damage and was a little bit small, he was able to get shield poked. Yeah, and Fox, this uh, this gameplay right now with the Terry, very strong. He's just looking like he's gonna get this two stock oh, right now. Oh what my god! Yeah, hard call out from the ledge. I'm not sure if uh, PK Chris was doing that option from ledge often, like that ledge jump. But man, Fox saw it coming a mile away. Got that easy forward smash. Solid, solid two stock. Great stuff, great stuff from Fox. It's 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 a long thing too. It's like you understand that what's like I think I'm kind of a broken record if you guys have already been listening to you understand the options that something like Ness would do at the ledge is size law. And for him to just go for forward smash and understand, okay, what's the common thing now? So do side stall, probably coming with forward air, maybe start up a PK fire. If I call out this one thing with that was the forward smash, which hits two out of the three things then I am effectively going for a really good move. And in that, by that extension, I'm winning a lot here. Especially with Terry. a stock lead. Yeah, Terry, man. Terry with a stock lead, especially at 100 plus percent. One of the best characters in the game. Oh yeah, Bar for none. sure. Let nobody tell right. you any, let nobody tell you different. Yeah, even though in spite of that though, uh, we didn't really see Fox really abuse the, the go that much. He was getting a lot of just raw kills without having to use the meter. Nice. Really good start right here for PK Chris. Trying his best to respect these hitboxes from Terry because he just knows makes a one slip up, man. It could be hard punish. I actually like this stage for PK Chris. Uh, if he gets... Like the platform, he can throw up a PK fire in some really good angles. Yeah. Control a lot of space on the stage. Uh, early execution on the down smash. Would have been a great call, oh. but none, yet again, good pressure to still go for it once more and then still hit Fox. PK cares with a lot of stage control. There's the tail end of PK Thunder. You have to be careful. Oh, oh no. Yeah, starting animation. Starting animation. 
Yeah, that was just a hard call out for PK Chris in general. Is really seeing what Fox was going to get off the ledge with. Very nicely timed up smash. And uh, yeah, with this lead he has. Oh, oh speak my of the god. Devil. The lead, Destroyed man. Destroyed immediately. <laughs> That's the power of that side magnet combo. Doesn't even have to worry about the 100 plus percent Terry if he's dead already. And yeah, uh, yeah honestly, PK, PK Chris's combos have been very good, but also his spacing on the stage. Very, very well positioned. He, he's just not giving Fox any free openings for these combos. Yeah, I, and I think PK Chris understands that from the first match and how things oh. went down. You kind of have to play the mid-range. You kind of have to make sure you're hitting your safe aerials on shield. Because if you're not, you can see he'll, he'll go for that down throw. He will confirm that it's a lot of damage. Like so here. Our guys are 116. PK Chris still alive. He knows he can still make it. PK cross just to see if he can hold Fox at the ledge. Yeah, he's using that neutral be all station. Very, very oh, good no. But that buffered air dodge off stage. Yep. You hate to see it unless your name is PK Chris. Then you'd love to see it. <laughs> that three stock, that three stock. Yeah, and honestly, the reason why a lot of players go for the buffered air dodge off stage and why you see that happen, it's usually the common option somebody would go for just because it's like, hey, I'm about to hit the ledge. I might have to go into a tech situation, right? So I might as well preemptively do that. Unfortunately, here, PK Chris did give Fox the slip up and didn't go for any of that, faulting in PK Chris's, dem I'm sorry, fa faulting in Fox's demise of being stuck in that directional air dodge lag. Always remember, if you just go for directional, I'm, I'm sorry, if you just go for air dodge, you receive significantly less end lag than if you were to go for directional air dodge. Yeah, I don't know about who wins this matchup because uh, I've seen I've seen Terry's do some pretty bad stuff to Ness. Do I don't know. I, I think that's if we donate bits. Yeah, I'll do song requests if you guys want. What? If oh, you guys donate in the bits, game. Yeah, if you, if you guys if you guys donate bits, I'll I'll take a song request at least for for this particular situation. Wow. Okay, Fox going King Dedede. I think we kind of saw this matchup. Does everyone have a Dedede? I guess Does everyone so. have a deep? All right. It is what it is, yeah, course, man. Best of three, so you have a lot to lose if you not do not get this right. Yeah, I mean he's betting his winners back in life potentially on uh, this this DD right now against Ness. So let's see if he has any answers. Nice. Kind of goes for the up air just because he wants to stop the yo-yo from charging. Oh, um, <laughs> I like the idea from PK Chris. Wow, that do you see how fast that Gordo flew from the four smash? It like teleported out of the screen. That was crazy. I wonder how much they would have done if it got reflected back at DV. Nice Gordo. That's good. That's good from PK Chris. He has the timing down right against the Gordo, but also he has the timing down right against the inhale reflector. So he's not getting effectively stuffed out by Gordo, and this gives PK Chris a lot of the stage to work with, as you can see so, and a lot of comfortability just to understand, okay, if he's going to take the time to try to hit me with Gordo and inhale, I have time to go for forward smash to reflect it back, but also I can still maintain stage control. Yeah, I've got to say I'm very impressed with PK Chris's spacing and decision making with Ness right now. Yeah, kind of makes me wish Fox would have stayed Terry. I mean, yes, PK Chris was able to win last match, but... You had a lot of things going on here. Now PK Chris with the stock lead here. 90 PK fire to forward. I sees the, the option that's going to happen against King Dedede. Usually jumping out of the PK fire is your first bet. Oh, go up there. Yeah, that'll do it. You saw how that went down earlier. Nice, just hit himself with the PK Thunder to get some stage control back. Oh, 
Pink Anchorus literally looking for a JV. See if you can catch Fox's jumps here. Right, excellent side stall, avoiding the down tilt. Make sure they're out of shield. PK Thunder. Good to go for the inhale, man. You don't want to get hit by the tail of PK Thunder because it can lead to multiple loops and damages against it. And potentially take out jumps if you burn your jump. Okay, it's a nice get up attack to get past the down smash, but man, he just can't really get much started, honestly. Fox is just having a lot of trouble in neutral. Yeah. No BK cross, dash attack. Oh, so disjointed, too. Really tough spot for Fox to be in here. Back here out of the shield. You can see the cooldown from forward tilt. Not that safe. No plus frames on shield. Oh, easy, easy punish. Landed into the stage with way too much lag with that up B. And uh, I don't know. Fox, uh. Fox got to do some, some different stuff in this match. This is a good start, though. I think yeah. he snagged the jump. He did snag the oh, jump. Oh, nice, here. nice. Wow, and a well timed down tilt, able to finally take it here. Fox gets a lucky break, finally with an opportunity here, just kind of even things out with even stocks and even percent. Starts with a down throw forward air. Nice. Backs off to see how PK Chris is going to react. Yeah, this is uh, Fox's opportunity to take this game back. Oh, trying to lay on top of Ness with that up B. Not the wisest decision. It's very risky. Okay, so good start with that back here. Oh, a lot of shield pressure coming out from PK Chris. And you can tell he wants that shield pressure so he can so he can read his opponent's out of shield option, or possibly just go for a for a down throw opportunity here. Oh, jump gets snagged out, but it's not a super strong hit to the back here. Oh my goodness, the force is still patch? active. Yeah, okay, still okay. Active. But that's a great, that's oh, a great no. back air, and he closes it out with the deepest forward air of all time. Dude, the pocket DD was the answer for Fox. Wow. I stand corrected. Would have never guessed. Would have never guessed either. Would have never guessed either.